big party here tonight. Yes, we're going to find out where the Raiders will be heading to. So this is Selection Show Sunday, so we're going to find out in a little less than an hour where we're going for the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, couldn't be more excited. You can see Raider fans, you know, from all over campus, off campus, all generations are gathering. So uh, pretty exciting stuff at the university. If you haven't had a chance to go up to the bookstore and get your Wright State gear. So we've got light refreshments here from our friends at Chartwells and Pepsi. The players are eating dinner uh, in a different room right now. They'll be out in a few minutes to sign autographs. Horizon League, man. Basketball champions, the Wright State University Raiders. They show how much they care about each other, how much they work together, how they love each other, and we are all here for the same reason. Go Raiders! They have just represented Wright State in every fashion that they can. I'm just so, so proud of what they've done, so thank you guys very much. The Tennessee Volunteers at 25 and eight made it to the SEC championship game. They will take on Wright State, 25 and nine. Wright State, the number 14 seed in the South region. And they know now that they will get the Tennessee Volunteers in round one. We didn't know we'd play Tennessee, we thought we were going to play Michigan, but nonetheless, we're, we're ready. My older sister had called me and my whole family was sitting in the living room uh, watching the selection show, so they're excited to see me, see me play, and I'm excited to see them and put on the show for them. The thought process needs to be that we're going to win, and, and then you just like survive in advance. Everybody's heard that phrase, survive in advance. Last time we made the tournament, you know, there was no social media or anything, so I feel like word about Wright State is really getting out there. It's great to get the name out there, and we both run for um, Wright State for cross country and track, so it's really cool to see the sports get to get their name out just because we know how it feels, and it's really awesome. I hope this positivity continues um, just as we kind of finish out this academic year, um, and I really hope that we can get some students go down to Dallas, Texas and support our university. Thank you.